Hi out there. I wanted to introduce you guys to a tool that I've been working on for a while now to make testing your single page apps and JavaScript heavy applications easy to interact with a real page and prove that things are working and make sure things don't break. So Pioneer is a DSL to interact with the browser that sits on top of WebDriver. Uh, it uses a human readable language called Cucumber to define the steps and then to actually interact with the browser you write JavaScript. So it's using familiar tools and familiar concepts to test what you're writing. So let's uh, get into it. So the first thing we want to do is install Pioneer. And while that's going, uh, I'll sort of show you what some basic tests actually look like. Um, so as you can see, these are just JavaScript functions that we're calling methods like fill, click, read to interact with the browser and to basically drive the state. So now that it's installed, we're going to get Pioneer to scaffold our initial setup. So and we've written a real simple command, the scaffold command, just to do that for you. And let's kick it off. So we're just running Pioneer. You'll notice a real browser opening, visiting to-do MVC, entering a to-do, and then making sure that we can see it. So it couldn't really be easier. Uh, let's look at the files that this has generated. A nice test directory, features, fixtures, steps, and widgets. The only two we're really concerned with are features and steps. Our features file is what we see right here. Uh, and our steps actually define how those uh, step implementations in our feature file are, are defined. So let's, uh, let's add a new one. And let's make sure that when we enter a new to-do, uh, we can complete it. Sounds simple? Let's do it. Let's make a new scenario. So let's take this step when I enter, put it down here. And I should be able to complete a to-do, just like that. And let's run our test again. And this is the dev flow. It's write, then implement, and keep going. So as you notice, it's actually running both of our scenarios. And just to make our life easier as a developer, let's only run this one. So we can define a tag and go into our pioneer.json here. and we'll just run it again. So now we're only running our single to-do. As you see, we get this cool little yellow output that we can copy, go into our steps file, paste this down here, and now we just have to implement this step. Now what I like to do is have a browser open to the page that I'm testing and look at the DOM nodes that I have to manipulate. So I'll see that I need a to-do list, and then an li, and then there's a toggle that I want to click. So why don't we go this.widget.click, and we just pass in our selector here. So to-do list li.toggle, and that should click it. Now let's assert that something has actually been clicked and that it's been completed. So these are all promises, so we say then. Now let's make sure that our context is correct, so we want to do a bind on the actual function. And so this.widget.isPresent uh, and I think our li should get a class. And yeah, it has a completed class. So let's just make sure that we have a completed. There we go. And should eventually equal true. And change this to B. There we go. So all this is doing is clicking on our toggle button. After it's been clicked, we're checking that it is present. And we're asserting it down here using uh, chai as promised. Turn this and we will return this just so that our promise gets bubbled up. And let's see if everything works.
just like that, it's working. So I hope that this gave you a quick taste of how simple it is to add integration tests to your app and how familiar it feels using a widgetized interface to represent your DOM nodes uh, in your actual test. Thanks.